hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video if you are new to my channel and you're seeing my face for the very first time hi my name is joy Iro, and i would really really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel okay just take one second and smash on that subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for clicking in on today's video so today's video is a reaction i'm going to be reacting about what they really said about goldie now if you don't know who they really or golden is just stick around and i will explain to you right after the intro so welcome back so for those of you who don't know who De Relay is De Relay is a popular nigerian celebrity he likes to dress flamboyantly i'm going to leave pictures of him so that you guys can see him for those of you who don't know him so that you guys can know him De Relay is actually a very good entertainer i've attended some shows that he was actually invited to perform he's really really a fantastic artist he performs very well he, he likes to dance he likes to dress you know his dressing sense is just out of this world he's very you know he's very bold when it comes to his dressing and all that so that's who they really is and goldie used to be his friend who is actually late now may her so rest well goldie is actually the relays very close friend they have been friends for so many years like ever since i knew anything about goldie i always know that Go they relay and goldie are besties so a few years ago she passed on okay after the big brother show i think she went for the big brother show and when she came out a lot of people had a lot of negative things to say about her i don't know you know so but after a while she passed on i think they relay she was in their relay's house when she passed on she came to visit him and she was complaining of headache and that's how she i think she slummed her brother was also in their relay's house at that particular time so they had to take him take her to the hospital and she was she died it was a very tragic incident because goldie is actually a very young lady who actually was you know very good in the music industry she has a couple of songs she was actually doing very good there are some of her songs that i actually love you know she was just at the peak where she was doing where things were just happening for her and this whole thing happened so she's actually a performing artist who has a couple of songs out who songs that were banging she had good songs she has a lot of beautiful songs that you know i was really really vibing to her songs back in the day people didn't really know she was married until later some news started coming out that she's married she had a secret husband and there's a, another wife and all that in fact that's not the purpose of this video but the re the main reason why i decided to do this reaction is what they really said on his interview like you guys i'm just going to play this for you guys to hear i heard this on insta blog i was just going about my business generally to deal and i said okay let me scroll to instagram and i was walking in the street of instagram guess what i found on insta blog guys take it just just listen let me disconnect my airport so that you guys can hear i, I mean i'm not for, no, I, I mean i'm not share this anywhere but i mean i can as well say it's you know on the boss lady show small exclusive so my beautiful late friend goldie you know a lot of people just thought we're friends but we did have a few intimate moments mm. and that's why i would say that i was the driving force god bless her soul she's resting mm. in power mm. i knew she was married of course mm. so, you know we kept that secret but we had it wasn't it was even more than friendship mm. we had, had a few you know mm -hmm. we entered the corner <laughs> you go around the one yes, corner sir, yes, sir. and that was why I was guys did you hear this like when I listen to this this morning I'm like is this guy okay I know that normally they really normally on a normal level they really is not okay like we all know it's not it's not like I'm insulting him or anything I love that guy okay but it's not okay we all know that they really mm -mm -mm, it's not okay but this particular one this one has entered another level of not just okay.com because Goldie is dead. Why come out now to tell the world that you had an intimate relationship with Goldie when we all knew that you guys were besties and you guys are, you know, ride or die? And now she's dead a couple of years later, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five years later. How many years later you are coming to grant an interview and saying that you guys had a romantic or an intimate relationship? <sighs> Like, I feel like I should just sit there and lay right now, eh? And just use smoke cane. Pankere, for those of you who are Yoruba, Pankere is a cane. To just wipe his bum bum a little and tell him, there really, what, what, is this necessary? To be honest, in my opinion, I don't think it's necessary. Let her live. 
let her be like just let the dead be she's dead and you also said that she has a husband and you know that she has a husband how do you think her husband is going to feel and the same day really i was listening to an interview of him where in danny tv interviewed him seven years ago where he was talking about how he knows that um goldie's husband loves goldie so much and he too was devastated when he died and all that no how do you want him to feel now knowing this thing that you just said how do you want him to actually feel that oh this day related that i thought was my wife's friend they were actually doing the do in the in the according to him in the corner or something how do you think it's gonna feel to be honest how do you think it's gonna feel to know that all this why i thought my wife was a perfect woman was a good woman but no that her bestie they were actually doing the do honestly it was totally young i'm sure that they really will go home after that interview him and say hey i have talked too much it is very important for people to mind what they say especially when you are being interviewed and you are being aired or there is a camera on your face mind what you say because ah uh ah -uh, someone used to tell me then that it is very impossible for a man and a woman to have a friendship bestie ride or die without things happening without being you know friends with benefit and i'm like it's possible for two people to actually be friends two uh, opposite sex to be friends without anything i used to think but no I i'm sorry i, I don't be i'm I I've, I've left that school of thought i've left that chat room honestly because why come out now to say that's my own like i feel this i'm just feeling ew ow i like ah, god i don't even understand why come out now to say it that you people we are having doing the do my body's doing me one kind just thinking about this thing like why they really why do you feel the need to say that out in the public why do you feel the need to soy her you know her memory why do you feel the need to come out and say that nonsense guys are you feeling my my scarf <laughs> i'm feeling it though huh? why do you feel the need to come out to actually say that right now it's it's uncalled for to be honest it's totally uncalled for i don't know that's my i felt when i listened to that interview to this morning eh, i was so angry like so angry like jeez how is she gonna feel how is her husband i mean how is her husband how is her family gonna feel that oh this bestie now there is going to make more people now now start checking their 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 wives or their girlfriend's bestie that is the opposite sex they say oh you are bestie with the opposite sex they are going to start checking it because you know things like this when things like this are heard from a celebrity you know from somebody that who is who everybody knows like people will not start thinking that oh that means this friendship that my wife or my friend or my sister is having with that male person yeah, i need to check it something may be going on behind this scene why 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 did he feel the need to come out to say that nonsense why guys please let me know in the comment section do you think or do you agree that it's impossible for a male and a female to be besties without anything attached just best friends on a platonic level do you think it's okay that it can happen that two people a two opposite sex can actually be friends and they will not be doing the do behind the scene do you think it's okay it's possible to happen let me know in the comment section and also let me know what you think about this interview that they really just had let me know what you think about him coming out to say that do you think he said it was good for him to say it do you think he should have just shut up his mouth and just keep quiet or even after saying it he should have gone to beg the producers of the show and tell them please edit this out i don't want it i don't know honestly do you i don't know just let me know in the comment section what you think about this because personally i feel it i feel it's so gross i feel so sad that he said that it's uncalled for in my own opinion okay it doesn't make sense it's out it let sleeping dog lie we don't care what happened let us continue to mem uh, continue to honor the memory of goldie and you being besties don't come and give us ideas don't come and let us start thinking that oh anybody that call a part uh, the opposite says bestie bestie something's happening behind the scene what do you guys Guys think let me know in the comment section i don't want this video to be too long that's just what i came here to share with you guys if you've not seen that interview please go and check it on insta blog i don't even know the name of the channel I, I mean, the name of the person anywhere, but I mean, I that they granted this interview to i, I mean, don't I'm really know but 
to be honest it's uncalled for in my opinion he shouldn't have said it he shouldn't have he shouldn't have said it at all i feel very i feel very bad i feel very sad i feel very like he has fallen my hand i'm not sure i'm the only person he has fallen nigerian's hand and everybody's hand for saying this it's very very uncalled for anyways that's just what i came to say i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoy my reaction videos please let me know if i should continue doing reactions or i should just stick to my normal lifestyle beauty fashion and all the which i used to give you guys okay and um if you like this video please thumbs up even if you don't like the video please just help me because thumbs up the video comment down below i want to hear from you subscribe to the channel join this amazing family okay we are on the road to 4k okay subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications to get you notified share this video okay share this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye and do stay blessed